why did you uh, select a Howard of all your friends well, to show with you? Howard has been a good friend over the years uh -huh. and actually was a teacher of mine at Mount Hood Community College uh -huh. when I took printmaking from him. And I've just always felt his work is pretty sophisticated. So um, I was happy that he agreed to take part. Howard was a former member of Blackfish years ago, even was yeah. co-president for a, for a little while. Is he still teaching at... Uh... Yes. He's still he's teaching. Semi-retired, but still teaching at Mount Hood Community College. Uh -huh. Is there anything that connects his work with your work in this uh, show? Well, I would say I, I, I see something similarity of this piece that you have. Uh, the shapes that uh, you have here in your show, and those uh, uh, and these uh, these triangles. Yeah. Yes. So you imagine the oil that you have there, and uh, on your, on that piece specifically. Well, I think, think the yellow is a very appealing color. Yeah. And um, the shape, the triangle shape. And the triangle shapes. Um, yeah. I'm interested in a pyramidal form, which is four four-sided, simple, yeah. uh, three-dimensional form. A lot of Howard's work is based on the golden rectangle and the, uh, the golden proportions. What do you think of this uh, piece here on the window? Well, um, I really appreciate this piece. I appreciate the, nat because. appreciate the natural subjects, the shells, uh -huh. and also this kind of structural element. Um, years ago, Howard did a large rotating sculpture. Oh, yeah. This is a shell here, and I think this is possibly like an end view of a shell. Mm -hmm. And the little strokes that are close together seem reminiscent either of needles, needles on uh, some kind of evergreen tree. Here. I'm not sure Which one? That one? The artist is, yeah. This, uh, that red. Yeah, doesn't it remind you of somebody? I don't know who. Rothko? Rothko. <laughs> 